physical stock take is basically a manual count of every item of stock in the store. So pretty much for most businesses it's done twice a year. Um, so maybe at the end of December, at the end of June. And what happens is the store is shut at say 6 p.m. Staff are brought in when the shop's actually shut. There's no customers there. And they're gonna manually count the stock at night. And all stock must be counted by nine o'clock the next morning. And then the store opens up again for business. So you can see in the picture, the woman has a scanner. So obviously counting, it used to be very manual, manually done, but now you can use scanners and so on to make the job quicker. But essentially it's still a, a count of every single item in the store. So a physical stock take is done using stock sheets. So each item is listed on the stock sheet. So for example, it's gonna record the quantity. So if it's a sports store, we can see they've got cricket bats, so they've got 50 of them, 100 cricket balls, 30 soccer balls, and 15 hockey sticks. Also record the cost price of each item and then uh, the final total of all inventory and add that up. So you can see in this stock uh, sheet up here, total inventory or stock is $4,700 and that's the amount that would show for inventory as a current asset. Why do firms do a physical stock tape? Because after all they do have computers, so why is this even done? Basically it's because the computer records aren't always correct. Um, as, as much as technology has replaced people, you still need some human involvement because the computer can't always be correct. For instance, if stock's stolen, well, and, and the person has gotten away with it, you're not gonna know about that as a business um, until they actually manually go and count and check whether the stock is there. Could also be some stock is damaged and needs to be thrown out. Maybe it's been misplaced or lost temporarily. Um, these are all reasons why we still need to do a stock take and not just rely on the computer. So what we're trying to match up is basically what should be there according to the computer with what is actually there and that's done with a stock take. So let's say for example, uh, Rebel Sport on the computer, it says they should have eight footies. Uh, they do a stock take and in this case, they only count six. So that's not that uncommon. And what it might suggest is that there could be any number of reasons, but maybe perhaps this could be two footies have been stolen. And that explains why there's only six that have been physically counted. Uh, the point is though, what is it? Uh, what's a stock take and stock take sale? Well, we wouldn't have known two were stolen unless we actually shut up the store and counted all the stock. So that's what a stock take is. So you see in every June usually or December, all these stock take sales. And basically that's a sale of stock by say Meyer in this case. And they're doing it so they don't have to count it. Obviously counting it's uh, gonna take time and money. So they prefer to sell it if they could. So whenever you see stock take sale, all that means is trying to sell it before they actually have to shut the store down and count it.